On the heels of a series of health scares, greater attention is paid to various details prior to purchasing food and daily supplies here in Korea. As a result, they are thinking twice and looking at the bigger picture. Kim Mogen explains why ethical consumption is a trend that's gaining more traction these days. Earlier this month, more than 50 farms in the country were found to have used illegal toxic pesticides, resulting in contaminated eggs bound for supermarket shelves. And now there's a probe into one company's sanitary pads, said to have caused health problems in women due to the hazardous chemicals used to make them. The combination of these has some pointing to unscrupulous practices that may be more widespread than previously thought. In order to lower the price, many products are being made by exploiting workers and cutting necessary costs. This lowers the overall product quality and makes it hard for consumers to choose which product to trust and purchase. A bakery in southern Seoul, famous for its fresh and healthy ingredients, has had a steady consumer base for the past decade. The baker wakes up at 3 a.m. every morning to knead dough made of organic flour. The owner personally visits different parts of the country to find and purchase the best fruits and other ingredients every season. I put a great deal of value in the safety and healthiness of our products. Just like our company name, we try to make bread as if we were a father wanting to feed his children with peace of mind. Just like this bakery has found out, ethical consumption is catching on. It's a way of spending in which people consider not only the price and quality of a product, but also the ethical aspects of the production process. It's about looking at a product from the beginning to the end, from the manufacturing process to distribution, and even how its disposal could affect the environment. A nonprofit charity shop called Beautiful Store is another place that promotes ethical spending. The shop sells fair trade items made in developing countries as well as those made by people in need, offering benefits to both creator and buyer. This cookie was made by people with disabilities who are acquiring new skills at a social enterprise to pursue their independence. The profits from the cookie sales are used to help others who need treatment or financial assistance. I think the price is reasonable, the quality is nice, and most of all, it has a good purpose. I come here often to shop for myself and even buy stuff for my friends. The shop also resells donated products and creates new things out of them. Ethical spending is about thinking of the social and environmental effects that follow consumption. But many manufacturers have the hard time reaching out to consumers, so we're acting as a bridge that can help them enter the market. Efforts to purchase with a good purpose have also spread to online shops. An online mall called Ethica connects people involved in the ethical consumption market with fair trade items and products made by social enterprises. I think people can practice ethical spending more easily if there's a platform where they can find different kinds of valuable products on a single website. As more organizations work to promote products that encourage ethical consumption, experts say the most important thing at this point is to get the public to look at spending in a new way. Kim Mo-kyun, Arirang News.